your forecast first. Sponsored by Natax Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. So some of you have already seen the changeover from rain to snow. In fact, a lot of spots have already seen that happen earlier this afternoon, but in many spots, it's not stuck just yet. Some spots, they are seeing it, like in Iroquois County, but in other places, it still remains just kind of melting on the ground. 33 degrees in Champaign right now, 35 in Decatur, 35 in Danville, and 38 in Paris, as well as in Effingham. This is our Gibson Area Hospital Health Services weather camera up on the roof of Dog Eye Net, and you've got, again, the cloudy skies there. We're not literally looking at a lot of uh, accumulation just yet. That won't occur until overnight. Winds are out of the north right now now up to 25 miles per hour. So going through the rest of our forecast, snow showers on and off tonight, and we'll talk more about it for the day tomorrow as well. WCI 3 News starts right now. Now from WCIA 3 News. Somebody with so much light who showed so much love to everybody else that could be taken away so viciously. Family and friends are remembering the Champagne woman who was killed. At the very same time, there is a huge break in the case. Of course, you have to be 21 to drink, but in one city, some bars will be letting kids as young as 14 in their doors. We'll tell you why. Insulin prices were capped. Now, lawmakers want to do the same with more of your prescription drugs. We begin with breaking news tonight. The Champaign County Sheriff's Office says it's arrested a suspect in connection with a murder investigation. They found 34-year-old Tanisha Jenkins dead inside a home on Sunday. Deputies originally went to the home near Dale and West Anthony Drive for a welfare check, and that's where they found her body. WC93's Karina Rubio is live in our newsroom. Karina, who do they have in custody? Jennifer, the suspect is 37-year-old Antoine Craig. Officials say the two were in a relationship. Witnesses told the sheriff's office they saw the two arguing in a parking lot in early morning hours on Sunday. Friends of Jenkins said Craig was at her home mid-morning and they asked to see her on video chat, but Craig said she was sleeping. When deputies got there for a welfare check, they saw a man in the home, but he left through the back when they knocked on the door. They found signs of struggle in Jenkins' body in a bedroom. Today, I talked to someone that's been friends with Jenkins for 10 years and says besides sadness, it's really a mix of emotions right now. Uh, of course, I feel angry. She didn't deserve any of that. She was amazing in every way. She helped every single person that she could help. Like, even if she didn't have it to help, she would do it. Like, there's no way I can see anybody taking her life like that. The Champaign County Sheriff's Office says Craig turned himself into the Rantoul Police Department today. Friends and family lit candles in Tanisha Jenkins' memory outside the home where she was found, and they're having a vigil this Thursday night at 5 p.m. at New Hope Church of God in Champaign. Live in the newsroom, Karina Rubio, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Karina, thank you. Troopers were called to a semi-crash on I-74 this morning. It happened in eastbound lanes near Route 47 exit in Muhammad. A jackknife semi blocked the two lanes of traffic, forcing cars to use the shoulder and ramps to get around the truck. It took less than an hour to get the truck up and off to the side. No one was hurt in the crash. Rain has turned to snow as yet another round of winter weather blows into central Illinois tonight. Snow started falling across the area this afternoon. Luckily for drivers, though, it was too warm to stick. But that won't be the case later tonight. Meteorologist Jack Gerfin joins us now from the tracking center. So, Jack, how much snow are we talking tonight? Well, Paul, a lot of us will be seeing some accumulation begin overnight tonight, and then everything will be coming to an end for us on Wednesday afternoon, leaving behind a few inches. We all have um, the only alerts that we have out there are winter weather advisories that go from 6 o'clock this evening until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And uh, the reason being is that we have the rain changing over to snow, as you see on Storm Tracker Doppler. In fact, a lot of us have really already seen this occur here. We don't have a lot showing up just yet, but we do expect overnight, uh, really, for things to begin to blossom a bit more on the radar. So we do expect there to be the snow, which will be generally moderate. At times, we're not looking at a whole lot of heavy snow that will be falling, but we are looking at definitely issues with the morning commute tomorrow morning. So temperatures will be in the 30s tomorrow morning. We'll have our cloudy skies with our snow showers, and we, again, are talking about a few inches of accumulation. We'll have more on that and the full forecast here in just a moment. Guys? All right, Jack, thanks. We'll check in with you in a little bit. In other news, Champaign City leaders are looking into how to pay for an anti-gun violence program. See you Fresh Start started three years ago. People with a history of gun violence meet with law enforcement, community members, and social service providers. The grant that supports it is set to end. Members of Champaign City Council will have to decide whether to find new ways to keep funding it or focus on a new program altogether. Applicants are in the running for an open seat council open city council seat that is but the city of Urbana isn't releasing any names yet they're hoping to replace Ward 6 councilman Dean Hazen his official last day was today 
He resigned earlier this month. He says the position conflicted with his work at Richland Community College. The city plans to release the names later this week. A change to what age you have to be to enter a bar in Urbana will go into effect soon, but there's a catch. Urbana city leaders approved this change last night. Teens between the ages of 14 and 17 can go into bars without a parent or guardian, but only for live entertainment events like concerts or theater performances. Minors will, of course, not be able to drink alcohol. And again, these are teenagers. These are high school kids. And these are not, um, you know, these are very carefully regulated and supervised activities. The bar must be a Class A liquor license holder to do this. Events have to end by 11 p.m. and must be reported to the city in advance. It'll go into effect July 1st. A new program is trying to reduce the cat population in Macon County. New Hope Animal Outreach started a trap, neuter, vaccinate release program this month. It set traps where there might be wild cats. That cat is then taken to a veterinarian who will spay or neuter it before returning the cat to where it came from. Fixing a cat improves its health, behavior, and tackles that population problem. There are so many feral cats, wild cats, that don't have homes, that are not treated well, that get sick and so forth, and they keep reproducing. So the best thing we can do is to trap those cats, neuter them, and then turn them back out again. This program is only for feral cats that avoid contact with people. Money's been budgeted for 10 feral cats a month, but the goal is to collect donations to do more. Paying your way out of jail can be hard. How some want to change that. Plus, prescription prices have hit an all-time high. How some are trying to bring them down.